Okay, I'll, I'll start with the diagram. Be like this, no? So it is projected, no? Is asking this particular speed. Call, call this, it says some beta. We don't know this angle. So what are the two points? The two points is telling here. No? It's a parabolic path, no? Let, let me draw the curve properly. Sir, is it 20? Huh. These are the two points. Let, let me draw the curve properly here. Oh. Okay, this is a curve. So don't, and these are the two points on there. This is H1. This is H2. I'll draw a red line. So this will be very important for you. Let me increase separation. So that will be easy for me. If you can draw a diagram, little bit easy for you to analyze. Huh? So this is that H2. Uh, what is that? Th this is what the distance and these are the two points. Hmm? Able to notice this? Let this be the angle of inclination alpha. Here what happened? The projectile will have a speed. Call this is theta. Are you seeing anything similar to the topic today we discussed? Yes, sir. So, first we'll calculate alpha. So, here we have a triangle. This should be H2 minus H1 by D. No? So, what is sine alpha? H2 minus H1 by D. H2 minus H1, 18 minus 12. Tan alpha, sir. Ah, tan alpha, sorry. Or you can, ah, tan alpha, we'll write it. Tan alpha is equal to H2 minus H1 by D. H2 minus H1, <coughs> 18 minus 12. They are separated. Okay, D is a distance here, no? Let me go for sine alpha only. This, this one, no. Not horizontal, separated by this, this and D. Okay, now, now you take the sine alpha, so sine alpha. Eighteen minus twelve by ten, so three by eighteen minus twelve, three by five. So we we know sine alpha value. So sine alpha equal to three by five. Keep it here; it's going to help us a lot. Then 
we have to calculate this u no that was our question You, you look at that, what is the question asked, what could be the minimum velocity, what could be the minimum speed of projection that U has to be determined so that it will pass through those two points. Why, why that minimum word is brought? Because if you make the speed less than that, it may not pass through that particular point. On that one? So shall I directly bring the, uh, any how to, how to, yeah. oh yeah. Sir, then can we say that H2 is 18 and it's the maximum height? How can you say that? Speed. Why, why you are saying like that? Okay, work out and see. Okay, you made a guess, no problem, work out. Nothing wrong. Okay, fine, so first, uh, is the diagram okay, first of all? Okay, now no, no, let's proceed like this. Huh? So after this, look at, let's go for this triangle. I'll just enlarge the triangle. So is this the ball? So we have projected it with a speed V. So it's come and passes through this. Mm -hmm. Okay, some problem is it? Okay, let, let, let me overcome that. Okay, th th this was the, the angle theta, this alpha. Can you remember this like a uh, projectile? This one, so okay, instead of this D, shall I call that as R max? So what is the value of D should be equal to know? V square by G into one plus sine alpha. Sir. Okay, now we know value of D, we know alpha, we'll get the V. After getting that V, <coughs> let me finish off, then in the end you can clarify doubt. So D is equal to how much? The value D is 10. V square, G is how much? G is also 10. 1 plus sine alpha is what? 3 by 5. So this will be 100, 120. So V square is equal to uh, 5, 8. So V square will be root of, so only 160 it is. 160, so V equal to root of 160, I'll get it. 160 meter per second. After getting that V, so I'll, I'll, instead of, so what I do is like, I will go for, from the point of projection to point P1. Okay, now can, you, can we apply from O to P1? So we have to calculate you. Now we know value of V. 
I got from that particular concept. Then after getting that, I'll apply the conservation of energy, that one. So initial kinetic energy. So rather than taking help of mathematics, no, just conservation of energy. So since most of you know this, mu square by two should be equal to mgh1 plus mv square by two. M will get canceled. So this should be equal to u square two gh1 plus v square. So u equal to 2gh1 plus v squared. Substitute the values all. Uh, uh, h1 value. Value is 12. v square v 160 whole square. 20. So finally this will become 20 meter per second. This is our answer. Okay, now you can ask me questions sir. Like, how come you brought that equation here? How how they are related? Anybody? Can you repeat? How come that equation is brought introduced here? This is not inclined projectile, no. Why that inclined projectile condition is brought here? There's no inclined plane, sir. Why you are bringing inclined plane condition here? One of the students is asking like that. Sir, why did you take D as R max, sir? Why maximum range? Ah, there's a question I'm asking, no? Why, why that particular formula is introduced here? That was the question what I'm asking you. So it is not exactly an inclined plane condition, but it, it's similar to that. Right? That's why we can use it. But why did you take it to be R max? Sir? I mean, why? So that is the maximum separation between them, no? P1, P2, and that is equal to range. When you in a in a in a trajectory, when you draw a trajectory, what is the maximum separation between two points on a trajectory? That should be equal to the distance, no? The displacement. So when the projectile moves from P1, P2, so that the distance D will become like a maximum range when, when it is having a velocity V. I, I'm, I'm asking you to think here logically here. So between two points P1, P2. Shall I say that as it moves from P1 to P2, it will move in a parabolic path. I think I should make also one thing clear. This is a path. What is that capital small d? It's a displacement. And so that is the maximum possible displacement no? when it moves from P1 to P2. Will I agree? Maximum word. Now, now I'm introducing. And uh, okay, sir. Let it be our maximum. Hmm, but no. how did you say that for u minimum there will be an r max? Ah, that is the minimum speed. What happened? You can project so that it reach point p. No, say I know velocity at point p one. I know velocity at point p one. The velocity of projection that is v. To reach there, what you should do? You should project with a minimum velocity so that it can reach point p one. And now you can ask questions, sir. I'll project with a velocity more than this. Then it may cross P1, it may not cross P2. If I project okay, with sir. a speed, if I project with a speed less than this, then what will happen? It may not, uh, like it may reach P1, but it may not reach P2. It may not cross P2. Sir, once can you explain that equation, sir? See, uh, when the projectile projectile will move in a parabolic path, nothing to do with your inclined projectile. Okay, that one. Here, what happened? When it moves from P1 to P2, what is the maximum displacement the particle will have equal to D? That maximum displacement is nothing but similar to like a maximum range on an inclined plane. So I know that angle of inclination. 
I know the maximum range that the maximum displacement is what equal to R max. The D will become like R max. So I'll find out the V. Now you can ask questions are why you are writing minimum at O. That one. If you project with a speed less than that, what will happen? It will it will reach the point P1 with a speed other than that, or it may not cross P2. So, so that, that's why what I'm bringing the word minimum here. If I project with a speed at point O with a less than what I got the answer, then what happened? If it reaches point P1, it may not cross P2, but what is the condition given? So that it should cross both the points. Just logically, nothing to do with your concept. Why that uh, maximum range on incline is brought here? Like, a, yes, I can uh, bring that, uh, like, a, that uh, line joining P1, P2 is like inclined plane, no? Because when it moves from P1 to P2, what is the displacement? Is equal to, and that is the maximum. Sir, why are you telling it to be maximum displacement, sir? See, that is only pause. So, like, a, what all that value? What we get is there is a displacement, no? Yes, sir. It's displacement. It's a displacement. That one. So that particular value. Now, now what? It's similar to like a uh, what you can say like when it moves from uh, when you project a projectile up an inclined plane. Then nothing but what you are asking there. What is that maximum displacement along the incline? That maximum range is nothing but maximum displacement along the incline. Yes, sir. Uh, are, are you, uh, you, you should use that language properly here. <laughs> what is R max? Shall I put R max maximum range on incline or maximum displacement along the incline? Okay. Yes, sir. That I'm introducing you. Okay, see some questions will come where uh, like a, you have to really uh, dig into the idea that one. See, now you know all the things. You know how to apply equations of motion. The ideas matters a lot here. Hmm? You go back to ink maximum inclined projectile so when you project an incline when you project a projectile up an inclined plane we called r max what is that r max you call it maximum displacement along the incline what is another name for r max you